Close Up is brought to you by the all-new Kia Sportage. Driving design. It's being described as a milestone for humanity. How often have we heard that? But this one is a beauty. NASA has discovered a planet so similar to our own, they're calling it Earth's twin. But if you've had enough of planet Earth and hoping to catch a ride to destination Kepler 22b, that's what it's called, you're out of luck. It is, after all, 600 light years away. But a short time ago, I spoke to astronomer Dr Natalie Batalia. Now, she's from NASA, heads the team of scientists who made the startling discovery. We've discovered the first planet of ours in the habitable zone of its parent star. And what that means is that this planet is at the right distance from the star where it's not so hot that all the water would evaporate away and it's not so cold that the water would be all locked up as ice. Uh, this is a region around the star where liquid water could exist. So if this planet had water and it was at the right, this right temperature, then yes, uh, life could exist as we know it. How many other planets are there like that? Potential Earths. We just released a new catalog of planet candidates. These are stars with compelling signatures of planets around them. And of this sample of 2,326 planet candidates, 207 of them are about Earth-sized. And 48 of them are in this habitable zone and range in sizes from, from about one and a half times the size of the Earth all the way up to Jupiter size. How do you find them? Kepler searches for planets by measuring the brightnesses of stars very, very precisely, looking for the very slight dimmings of light that would occur in a, when a planet in its orbit about the star cross right in front of the telescope and the disk of the star itself, thereby occulting out some of the light. So it's these slight dimmings of light that happen every single orbit that are the indication of the existence of the planet. This is how Kepler discovers the signals. Is this methodical or is there an element of chance? This is very, very methodical. Kepler is taking a brightness measurement of about 150,000 stars once every 30 minutes, of all 150,000 stars simultaneously. And it's doing that for an entire three and a half years so that we can see the repeated dimmings of light, at least three of them, so that we can measure the orbital period, how long it takes the planet to go around once. And, and we need Kepler to do this literally without blinking, otherwise we might miss one of these dimmings of lights and that would preclude us from from discovering the planet. How far away is this planet? Kepler 22b is about 600 light years away from our own solar system. So do we know if the planet is even still exists? Stars live billions of years so 600 years which is the light travel time from this star to our own planet 600 years is a just the blink of an eye it's shorter than a blink of an eye in the in the uh, lifetime of a star so yes this star still exists it's a star very much like our own sun actually it's it's very much a sun twin and the orbit of the planet kepler 22b is very similar to the uh, orbit of our own earth it has an orbital period of about 300 days not unlike our 365-day orbit. You put out an artist's impression. Is this just what someone imagines it looks like, or what's that based on? What, what Kepler can do is measure the radius of the planet. So we know that this planet is about 2.4 times the radius of the Earth, so a little more than double uh, the Earth's radius. What we don't know is the mass of Kepler-22b. Um, and the mass combined with the radius is what would tell us something about the composition. If this is something that could potentially be rocky, or if it's a water world, or if it's um, gaseous even, like Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Um, the artist's depiction shows this world as being a water world, something that is um, maybe has a rocky core, but is encased, is, is enshrouded in um, an ocean that covers the entire surface. And given the size of the planet and given its distance from the star, that's actually a, a realistic or a feasible model, one of the possible models that could uh, describe Kepler-22b. Dr. Battaglia, is there life out there, do you think? 
It's not, it's not beyond the realm of possibility that life could exist there. It is at the right temperature. Um, it's larger. It could be, uh, as I said, it could be enshrouded by an entire, an ocean that covers the entire surface. But if, it's, if that water is at the right temperature, if it's liquid, then microorganisms could exist. I mean, who knows? It's, it's, we're limited only by our imagination. As a scientist, do you believe there is life out there? It's hard as a scientist to use the word believe. We want to know. Um, but if I have to speculate, I would say that I'm of the camp that uh, looks at the plurality of worlds, the fact that there are so many stars out there and so many galaxies, that it seems like it would be a waste of space not to populate it with a lot of life. It's 600 light years away. Conceivably, we couldn't get there, could we, at the moment? You know, I think that once we have the destinations, once we know that out there someplace is a planet just like Earth that could harbor life, I think we're going to figure it out. I think that, yes, we are going to go there one day. I don't know how. Um, you know, there's these restrictions. We can't travel faster than the speed of light, yada, yada. But I tell you, when we have the de destination, everything's going to change. How excited should the world be about this discovery? I think the world is on the edge of their seat. Uh, ready to have the answer to this question if Earth-like planets are common in our galaxy, because it has great implications for whether or not life is going to exist out there in the universe. And there's something innate about human beings that makes them ask these questions and want to know the answers on a very deep level. So I think that this is one step towards that objective. It is a milestone towards reaching that goal. And for that reason, humanity should be very excited about it, yes.